Hola YouTube, welcome back to my YouTube channel guys. If you're new here, hello, welcome to the crazy family. <laughs> Today's video, it's about baking, cooking, whatever you want to call it, we all love it. You know, who doesn't love to cook? I remember when I didn't want to, I didn't cook before. And my makeup would look like crap. Now I understand why drag queens cook and how come their makeup stay on longer. Because they cook and now everybody's cooking and everybody want to cook. And they already asked me what is cooking, what is baking, what is it. So today's video is a, it's about, about baking and cooking. I'm going to be using Sasha products for that. Um, this ones were recently sent to me and I tried them on for, for a month. And I have to say that I'm in love. Like, because my thing is, I want to try it first and see how I like it. I want to try it for at least a month to tell you guys my feedback and how I really feel about it. But I have to say that it replaced my crack powder. I'm going to be showing you guys how do I cook using Sasha products. Okay, so first, before anything, you wanna make sure that underneath your eye is very moisturized. And then after that, you wanna make sure that you correct if you have dark circles. If you don't have dark circles, then you don't have to correct. Bless your heart. Literally, I'm jealous because you don't have to correct. I have to correct everything. If I don't correct, oh my gosh, I look like a raccoon. So applying a little bit of um, corrector, it would just even out the skin. So when you put anything on top lighter, it's not gonna make it look ashy or gray so after we correct I'm gonna go ahead and apply my NARS concealer this is one of my favorite concealers because it's so pigmented but it's not thick so now we look a little highlighted right do we look good do we look good then after that I'm gonna grab NARS caramel and this is just gonna give my gonna be my highlight color and you can go ahead and highlight the high points of your face what you want to bring out, that's what highlight is. So if you guys see this, if you guys didn't correct underneath your eyes, this will look ashy and it will look gray. Now it's time for cooking. I'm gonna be using the Sasha Buttercup. This is called Buttercup, I love the name of it. This is good for all skin types. It's good for a natural, if you just wanna get a little bit of, you know, color, or it's perfect for cooking. This is literally holy grill. And if Dude, sometimes some other powders make me look ashy. This one doesn't make me look ashy. So I, I'm in love. I'm in love with that Sasha. Mm, mm, mm. I'm in love with that Sasha. <laughs> I like grabbing a dry booty blender and I'm literally just gonna go in. Applying it underneath the halo of the cheek to just give you that line contour that we love. So now we're gonna leave that there for like five minutes or so. It's really up to you how long you wanna leave your powder. Um, the longer that you leave it, the more highlight it's gonna give you. I put it up to three to five minutes. It just really depends. Sometimes I wipe it right away. It just really depends how I'm feeling. I love baking because this it's beautiful in pictures. For photography, it's amazing. So that's the reason why I love baking. Um, and the main parts to cook is underneath your eyes because you wanna set your concealer and literally like any little oily area that you have in your face. Yeah, to just... So now we just wait. So now I'm gonna wipe everything away. I would, I would say, if you have dry skin, make sure you moisturize your skin really, 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 really good before you do all this, because it's gonna leave you very matte and very dry. Then I go on top with a powder just to set my foundation. So now that we finished cooking, I'm gonna highlight a little extra. I know I'm crazy about my highlight, but you know, cooking just makes everything easy and it looks better. Um, this one is a Sasha Powder Compact, and this one is in Buttercup also. I've been using this one on top of my Buttercup Loose, and it just gives me like a little extra highlight. I feel like this one is a little lighter than the loose one though, so it just helps me to highlight. And I'm just gonna go on the inner and close to the nose because it's gonna give me kind of like a contour on my nose without contouring it. Now I apply a little bit of blush just to give my cheek a little bit of color. I'm gonna spray myself a little with the Smashbox Primer Water. 
just to give some moisture back to the skin. Now we're gonna put a little bit of highlight just to illuminate those cheeks. I'm using the Sasha Bronzer. This is called a bronzer, but I feel like for me, this is a highlighter. Um, this one is called Bewish. Bewish, hopefully I'm pronouncing it right. This one's been one of my regulars. Oh, hello highlight, you guys see that? Hello. It's so pretty. A little on the button nose. Hello, shine bright like a diamond. So yes guys, that's how easy it is to cook or bake, whatever you call it. So go ahead and check the info box below. I'm gonna have a little discount on. I'm gonna put it right here so you guys can see. Um, but try it out to see how you guys um, like it and tell me if you guys loved it the way that I do. And comment below if any of you guys have tried this. I feel like I'm like the last one in the wagon that I have tried this because a lot of my friends use this and I was like, nah, I'm stuck to another one. But I love it now, like I'm not going back. <laughs> And yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. Don't forget, don't forget to comment and subscribe. And I know you guys are gonna ask me, what lipstick do you have on? I have on Cap on the Vampira liquid lipstick. It's one of my favorites right now. Like, and I love you guys. See you guys next time. Ciao.